that was just a little taste of a new song and video by Lexington's own Mojo Thunder. And joining me now to share the details on all the exciting stuff coming up for the band is lead, lead singer Sean Sullivan. Hi, Sean. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing good. It's been so long since we've seen you guys, like, yeah, at like 7 in the morning. Oh, right. Up, yeah. Up set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little early for rock and roll back then, I guess. It it's a little more up, tame though. right now, so. Yes. Okay, so now before we talk about your new single that was just released today, Mojo Thunder recently released another song in music video, Jack's Axe. Can you talk a bit about what inspired that song? Um, it's just a rockin' song, and we, it's, the song's kind of about greed and about the world and everything. It's just, uh, I don't know, we just wanted a straightforward rock and roll song, and, and Bryson came up with a cool lick, and it just kind of spawned from that, and he had some, some really cool one-line lyrics that, that I kind of pick and chose, and, or pick and choose, whatever. And, and and kind of just formed the song and it kind of just came out to to be in jack sacks i don't really you know we didn't really it's just it's a song about greed and about about the world today i think so it's just appropriate i don't know and i was going to ask you about your like general songwriting process do you have like a set kind of way that you guys come up with songs or is it kind of different every time uh it varies uh sometimes you know one person will come up with like a, a good chunk or a whole idea a lot of times it'll, it'll start like how i just said with a riff or some chords and we'll jam it out as a band until we find something that we all find is groovy and then i'll sit down and start writing words and see if we can start putting a structure together um or sometimes like i said sometimes i'll come in with the full-fledged song that i'm just like make this better please and then they do their magic and they twist it around and make it better so isn't, isn't that the best part about having a band is that you can just come in with something and it's like make this into something and like that's what comes with working together oh yeah it's great to be co like collaborating you know i mean and just even if one person just brings in a riff or something that lead that opens so many other doors like when you put three other brains on it you know it's just a lot of different perspectives can hear things different ways so absolutely and now the music video is a full-on rock out performance what was the experience <laughs> like making the video um it was fun it was good it was in the basement of like uh, a shopping center i guess it was a a dirty old basement and uh the guys really did a great job lighting it up and and we just wanted a, a straightforward music video, just, you know, no fancy stuff, just a good old fashioned rock and roll video, you know, kind of get the get the juices stirring and, and getting ready for a good year of music for us. So, yeah, and a dirty old basement is the best place to play <laughs> some rock and roll music. Right? It's where it belongs, honestly. You know? It does. All right, and you guys are cranking out the jams right now. Can you tell me a bit about the song Soul that was just released today? Yeah, Soul is a, uh, a kind of a special song to us. It's actually the song that um, we, we first wrote when I joined the band. It was like the first song we wrote together, um, like in full length, I'm pretty sure. What had happened is they found a video of me singing a really infant version of Soul, and they uh, messaged me and reached out and... Uh, then when we got together, they were like, yeah, we actually had like chords that were pretty similar to the video we saw and it was the same chords and everything and they had a chorus lined out. That's what I was struggling writing. And so it kind of just was very just like, oh, this is meant to be. We just wrote a, a really bomb song and that was our first one. Like, let's keep doing this, you know. And it's a, I think it's a softer side to Mojo Thunder. It's still kind of rocking, but um, it's it's definitely Southern and a uh, love song. And it's, you know, it's about loving yourself, loving a partner and, and, and everything. So it's a, it's a softer side to Mojo Thunder. It's kind of like fate. It sounds like you were ar you were already co-writing a song before you ever were in the band. And like, for sure. And speaking of that, okay, most bands don't like to talk about their old music, especially not their old like band lineups. But Mojo Thunder decided to completely reinvent their style of music early on and never play any of the old songs again. And I have a feeling that had to do with you joining the band. Can you tell me a bit about what it was like joining the band and working together to come up with the new sound? Um, yeah, I've been, I mean, <laughs> I like their old music. 
Um, but, uh, you know, we've been on a journey and I don't think it's stopped. You know, I think we're still looking to change. I, I don't think we're ever going to be complacent in one genre or, or anything, you know. So just because we have this new album coming out and it's, you know, and it's pretty much a straight southern rock kind of psychedelic thing, you know, that's not what we want to ever you know, our next stuff that we're that we're already planning to put out past this is is a completely different sound than what this album was, and this album is a completely different sound that from what our uh, EP Loose Lips was, you know. And so I think we're just we don't like to sit still, per, like in our own lives. And I think musically that translates as to we don't ever want to feel stagnant or want to stay in the same thing. Why not explore? everything yeah. that we can explore so well yeah too it's kind of like you're on the river of music you know and it's like you don't know where it goes you just kind of like you go along with whatever whatever comes out of you it's really not up to you you know what i mean the right and we always say you know i'm not sure if it was bryson or who said it but it, it was the guitar player but it was uh you know it's like we i don't want to set out to write great rocks rock songs i just want to write great songs so like if it's rock and roll, it's rock and roll. If it's a little bit softer, it's softer. If it's R and B, why not? Like who cares? So you know. You got the chops for it. I know you do. So you can you <laughs> can sing about any of it. Okay. So Mojo Thunder always has had like a really great social media presence. Was posting super funny videos. Like has during COVID has it kind of played a part in keeping you sane? Being able to do like funny videos and stuff like that. Um, you know, I only post the videos. Andrew, the bass player, is the mastermind of making all of these funny, random, kind of band-related uh, videos and things like that. So I think he has had a blast probably this COVID-19 whatever, just, you know, being in his apartment making videos for us to, to laugh at. And I think it's just been great. So, yeah. and you know, it's just, we, and we try to post every day and like, he's a big part of that. I mean, he, you know, he just, every day the Dropbox is filled with new videos. I'm just like, what, what is this? We can't use this. Like, you better watch out. Like, <laughs> you know, yeah. so it's, it's, it's funny, man. It's, he does a great job with it. So. Yes, he does. And, and you actually have some really cool stuff coming up in 2021, including performing at the Masters Musician Festival. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, we were performing um, at the Masters Musicians Festival in Somerset. Um, I think Blues Traveler is the headliner, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of great local local bands on the bill, though, from Kentucky and Central Kentucky in, in particular, I think. So it's definitely going to be a good show. We have our album release uh, show in Lexington on June 5th. That's This is the first time we'll say that um, officially. Um, but, um, which we're really excited about. We got a really cool rock band, Otis. They're opening up for us. Um, they're from Glasgow, which will be awesome. And we'll have, uh, three background singers, a keyboard player joining us, and it'll be a big, uh, a big shebang. So, yeah. so on top of that, we're, we, we got another single coming out, um, later in the, before we release an album. And then we have the album coming out. And then we have another single in the fall already planned to come out. So it's just um, we have a we have a, a, a hectic 2021 coming on. So, well, that's in a good way, though. I'm just so glad that, like, we're going to be able to have shows and stuff again. And if yeah, it's great. And if people want to check out more of your music and follow you on all your adventures, where's the best place to go? You can find us on Instagram or Facebook. You can just look up Mojo Thunder Official, all, all one word. Um, we're also on the TikTok, um, <laughs> whatever that's worth. We have like 20 followers on there. We're, we're trying to get it happening, but well, we're just Mojo on Thunder on there. Yeah, you'll go viral. Post some, Keep posting all those videos. I'd start posting some of the old ones, too. You might just go viral real quick. We're try that's, that's the goal, you know, is just to get that one video of Andrew doing something something funny to, to set us over the edge. So. There you go. I love it. Well, Sean, thank you so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I really do appreciate it. So